This is the Aryabhatta, India's first satellite. It had been built in 1975 by a yet young ISRO. The Aryabhatta was launched into space the same year by Intercosmos, the Soviet Union Space Agency. Five years later, Leonard Brezhnev, the then Soviet president, was in an official visit to India. He presented an idea, that of a collaborator manned spaceflight. And thus was born Project Pavan. The search for the right candidates was now underway. 150 officers were in the running, two were shortlisted. Both were highly experienced supersonic fighter pilots. What followed was an intensive two-year training schedule that covered rigorous physical and psychological challenges. Both displayed a high level of competition, constantly striving to be better than the other. The results were finally announced. The younger officer had been selected. The older officer, displaying the absolute ethos of armed forces, put aside any suggestion of disappointment and immediately focused all his attention and energy on helping the other officer with his grueling training. The preparation was proceeding in top-notch form. And then the young officer received news that would have shattered anyone's resolve. His six-year-old daughter, who was to undergo routine surgery, had unfortunately passed away due to post-op complications. In yet another glimpse of the powerful fortitude shown by our gallant officers, he gathered his courage and, realizing the call of his mission, proceeded with his duty. On the 3rd of April 1984, as squadron leader Rakesh Sharma was launched on board the Soyuz T-11, he became the first Indian to orbit in space. In the Baikonur Cosmodrome down below, his fellow airman, Wing Commander Ravish Malhotra, could be seen cheering louder than everyone else.